before I start the transit update for the month of September, a brief on the new moon in Magha Nakshatra which is happening today, 27th of August at 9 degrees of Leo. Leo has a royal energy connected to it. Don't expect anything ordinary or average with this new moon. Leo is a fixed fire and odd sign. We also have Mars on the same 9 degrees. So the king, the queen and the commander in chief Mars are on the same page for next 15 days. Mars has fourth aspect on this new moon also along with Sun and Leo sign. Mars is determined to give results of Leo sign in your chart. And also if you have any planets in Leo close to 9 degrees. The theme of this time is of new beginnings, maybe a major positive shift or some change. Time to set new goals. Pay close attention to the placement of Cancer, Capricorn and Pisces sign in your chart. These areas need focus and action as they fall in 6, 8 and 12 from this new moon. And this new moon has benefits on both of its sides, Mercury and Venus, which further increases the smoothness of the energy. Also, Magha has high, majestic and prestigious energy attached to it. Magha is a mighty one, ruled by our ancestors. And the Lord is Ketu. So we can expect some sharp ending some separation, death-like circumstances. Actually, it triggers a change in the current state or condition, a kind of death of something and a new beginning. Usually, it shows that we are coming to an end of a cycle. And Ketu, the lord of Magha, is in Libra right now which impacts all kind of relations, partnerships. It could be business or personal, anything. September is also the month of cleansing and completion. It is the ninth month of the year. The transformation which happened in the month of August is actually taking shape in the physical form by the month of September. September may give that final push to finish any pending task and give them closure, preparing for the final results and the change that it can carry. No more lessons now. You have learned the best from the current and the present situation. Now is the time for best planning, for a fresh start with the new learnings, with some new experiences. Number 9 contains the wisdom of all the previous numbers. So there is an increased sense of awareness that is based on experiences. We have passed the stage of transformation in the month of August. And now there will be new circumstances that will color your action. It is also the time when we can reflect on all the past 9 months. And be more aware of ourselves and our surroundings. Watch your dreams come true as you cross this month. There can be attainment of your goals, fulfillment of your desires. A cycle completes and we put the foundation for our new journey. This is the phase of life where we are just before we move on to the next stage of our life. Apart from that, we have very less transit in the month of September. The month starts with Venus crossing Gandanta. The significance of Venus like finances, beauty, art, love, relations and our values may see some deep transformation. Venus in fire and enemy sign of Leo along with the Lord Sun almost combust for the entire month is not good for the significance of Venus. There can be very intense burning kind of feeling, especially in relations, love. Then on 10th of September, Mercury will get retrograde in Virgo at 14 degrees. 
रेट्रो मर्क्यूरी इन वर्गो मे इंक्रीज अवर इंटेलेक्चुअल कॉन्फ्लिक्स डिबेटिंग डिस्कसिंग कम्युनिकेटिंग एंड एक्सचेंजिंग थॉट्स विच कैन ऑल्सो टर्न इन टू कॉन्फ्लिक्स और एनी वर्बल फाइट्स देर कैन बी मिस कम्युनिकेशन और इवन हैविंग रॉन्ग इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन समथिंग सो डबल चेक एवरीथिंग एंड डू नॉट गेट स्टबन ऑन एनी थिंग और ब्लाइंडली बिलीव वॉट यू सी एंड हियर डू चेक एंड री चेक योर वर्क especially work done in the past couple of weeks to avoid any reputation then on 10th of september there is a full moon in aquarius purva bhadrapad nakshatra at 23 degrees jupiter the lord of purva bhadrapad is in second from this full moon indicating a successful venture with some profits or gain a very next day neptune will join this full moon in aquarius giving some reality checks on the situation the best time to have some clarity on the current circumstances then on 17th of september sun will enter virgo and join mercury forming buddha aditya yoga but mercury will be combust and also retrograde so there can be lot of disturbed and fluctuating energies stay cautious and alert in all your dealings this virgo sun will help you to polish your skills get organized or do any activities that require you to pay close attention and also being health conscious focusing more on details simply ensures efficiency of high quality work and that work would be fantastic then on 24th of september venus will enter virgo its debilitated sign but making a neat bhang raj yog with mercury as mercury is with venus in virgo so now we have virgo loaded with venus mercury and sun with tight aspect of jupiter from pisces from here we have heavy earth element with saturn in capricorn venus mercury and sun in virgo and mars in taurus so from here the significance of earth element like values growth finances health all material side of the life career and job related matters will be strongly impacted Lastly on 26th of September we have new moon in Virgo Uttara Falguni nakshatra at 8 degrees where we can expect some short short result of Virgo sign in your chart as the nakshatra lord of Uttara Falguni sun will be with mercury in Virgo This new moon will have Jupiter's aspect and Saturn is trine to this new moon All in all even with a smaller number of transits in the month of September we have some significant placements and connections happening which will be like a point of stopover from where we may see a fresh start sun will be very powerful throughout this month as in the first half sun will be in its own sign and even in its own nakshatra uttara falguni In the second half sun will combust mercury and venus both and will take away their power to do anything the earth trine and the sign taurus virgo and capricorn will be very strong compared to any other signs september month can turn out to be very fruitful if you keep in mind that virgo is the sixth sign of the natural zodiac and the aim is to serve protect and defend against any odd challenging situation or even any diseases health is very important when sun is in virgo and sun improves our confidence vitality and will power see here we are dealing with the natural sixth sign of pending karma where the lord is exalted it could be the best opportunity to resolve difficult situations even relations that we are dealing with you may be gifted with some rewards in some manner or something prominent can be taken away from you related to the placement of mercury virgo sign 
or its house placement know that this is for your best personal development kindly accept the same wholeheartedly and stay humble mercury the lord of virgo will be retrograde so this demands lot of patience alertness and hard work use your strength in a most constructive way and keep this in mind while handling any tough situation during this month let us see the impact on all 12 signs check the earth trine in your chart especially the sign virgo which will be the most happening area throughout the month of september start with aries for aries in the first half you may focus on your children any stock market activity and your hobbies you may look for an outlet for your creativity and get recognized for your work in the second half you may use your energy in your work area and build on your strong health along with setting your routine your focus will be more on fitness your expenses and the matter related to foreign countries taurus avoid conflicts at home and watch your behavior with your family in the first half you are not in a sharing mood and protecting your reserves to be a strong person with the same reserved energy you may sharpen your intelligence and talent in the second half you your children may develop some new creative hobbies and will be successful in that gemini you may be desperate to speak being heard and understood in the first half of the month your debates will show your knowledge but avoid getting into extreme debates but in the second half your focus will be towards home your family life your mother and balancing the same with your career also matters related to property and vehicles may see some new development cancer you need to watch the way you talk and avoid any harshness in your speech in the first half even avoid any conflicts on your valuables your possessiveness may get you into some arguments also take care of your diet and your health in the second half there can be short travel a lot of communication and documentation your confidence and courage will be enhanced any government related work would be easily getting done leo you may shine bright in the first half you may become desperate to prove yourself and your identity even fight for that and you will be noticed in the crowd in the second half your attention will be more towards your family finances and will improve your possessions also your health and family bonding will get better virgo very important month for you there can be some inner struggle and self reflection in the first half you may want to work behind the scenes and hide as you fear that you may overreact to a situation but you need to come out and open up for your own growth and you will be successful in that in the second half you shall be strong communicative your personality will shine as we also have venus joining sun and mercury in your first house best time to use your skills libra the first half will be very rewarding with an extended network developing new benefit connections joining groups or working as a team it's the desire fulfillment time for you but in the second half you may slow down work on some foreign collaborations have some quiet time travel to distant places or have some investment or spend some time money in developing new skills scorpio in the first half you shall be very active and work on your name fame getting recognized on your work and even your accomplishments this is backed by some concrete work done by you in the past so your confidence is very strong the second half may bring all round success and positive developments time to fulfill your long awaited desires 
will put you on top in your work zone and you will shine among your circle sagittarius you may work on expanding your knowledge improving your skills and your principles in the first half you are determined to have new learnings in your chosen field you may deal with some conflicting questions in your mind about your sense of wisdom the second half may bring clarity on what needs to be done to be successful in your career zone you are in the focus among your peers with your excellent communication skills it is best time to make your skill public capricorn the first half may bring long awaited change you may deal with others money your tax matters but avoid any major conflict because of that a very intense time for you so stay calm and keep your aggression under check watch your health and also that of others the second half will open new doors of opportunities the elders of your life father mentor teachers may provide you much required guidance your communication skill will get polished and you may go for long distance travel aquarius the first half is very happening and can bring you new relations or even partnerships but avoid conflicts because of any ego clashes be gentle with all your interpersonal relations there can be self awareness on how you need to treat others or project yourself in front of others the second half may bring some major transformation leading to some sudden development do take care of your health also anything related to research taxes and occult science will be in the focus Pisces the first half can make you very defensive so avoid any major debate at your workplace and use this time constructively to develop your skills and build up your good health watch your sensitivity and also being critical of others keep up with your patience continue the same approach in the second half also as all your relations and even partnerships of all kinds can be very active and can bring change in the equation with others can make you very communicative and strong that's all for all 12 ascendants to conclude with sun in leo it is always good to be very expressive Leo sun is all about giving and taking appreciations and also being grateful for the gifts of life. In the first half increase your strength and productivity. Leo is a fixed and fire sign. Sure to give results in the proportion of your efforts done earlier. Not just any efforts but the efforts to fulfill your duties and responsibilities. As Leo comes under the dharma trine Virgo is also the sign of having discipline and order in our day to day life. It also signifies our small small irritations, frustrations that comes with petty issues of our routine life. So in the second half avoid conflicts or ego clashes. Don't be over analytical or play a role of being critic always. Be flexible, stable and the rest will certainly follow. Best wishes to everyone for the month of September. Thank you for your time. Do write in your comments and queries and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.